jewels, baby. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Hi, my name is Favorite Lucky. You can call me Lucky if you like. And if you're a returner, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video as always. So today we're gonna do a mukbang, mukbang. I don't know how you guys pronounce it, but anyway, we're gonna be doing this mukbang, mukbang, and at the same time, I want to share with you guys a very juicy, interesting story. Or should I say my crazy experience? So um, before we get started, this is basically rice and Nigerian stew with some boiled egg and some um, cramped mango juice. Um, this juice is actually good actually. I got it from Publix. Ah, so refreshing. I want to share with you guys my roommate experience. So basically, um, I'm still in college and throughout my time here in college, I've had four different roommates. And this particular roommate we're going to be talking about is roommate number three. So we're going to call her roommate number three. So I currently live with roommate number four, but we're going to talk about roommate number three just to make sure everything is clear. <clears throat> so story, story. So when I first came to USF, I lived on campus. And um, the first time I moved off campus, I had this roommate. So the first time moving in, I didn't meet her. Um, the only thing that she did was leave uh, a note on the table. I was like, hi, new roommate. I'm out of town. Honestly, I don't remember what the note said, but she was basically saying she was not around. So in my head, I was thinking, oh my God, this girl is so nice and everything. Like, Because I thought that she was excited to meet her new roommate, which was me. And I was excited as well, honestly. Okay, so later on, she came back from her, what's it called? Her trip or holiday. I don't know where she went to because I moved in around August period, um, like a week or two before school started. So when she moved in, you know, I came out, said hi, she introduced herself. All the formalities went down. We exchanged numbers. Um, I don't think we really spoke about like, Things that we liked and things that we did not like or like things that she could tolerate from a roommate and things that she couldn't I don't think we established that conversation we just went ahead to just you know start living and whatever and honestly and me I'm this type of person that like I mean I'm a chilled roommate like I really don't care about much things um, but if something is bothering you that I do I am not doing it on purpose, but if you don't tell me that it's disturbing you, I'll continue doing it. I think that's pretty much everybody. And there are times that like I'll leave my dishes, but not for a long period of time. Let's just say I eat in the morning, I'll wash it in the afternoon or something. Or sometimes if I go to school and don't come back until late at night, I might just sleep off and leave the dishes to the next day. And trust me, it's not, I didn't do it in it. My dishes are not like something that will irritate you or like last for a week or so mm. so one day she left this really really nasty note on my room door and was like i don't pay 800 dollars just to be uncomfortable in where i'm living i'm even saying this in a nice way like she said it in a in such a horrible way in my mind i was like we're crying out loud we have each other's number we live together if something is bothering you or if i did something you could simply knock on my door and be like, hey, Phil, can we talk like this, 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 like this thing you did, I don't like it and stuff like that. And I would like gladly apologize and make sure that I never do it again. But I'm, one thing I hate about writing notes, especially living, having to live with somebody is that like those notes can be read in the wrong tone. Like you might not mean it in a harsh way, but the way the other person is reading it might be wrong or come off as rude. And that's when problems start happening. That's when you guys living together as roommates will become awkward and that's what she did i read that email i mean i read the notes in such a way that i felt like it was coming for a very it was coming from a very rude and disrespecting uh, manner so i got pissed and i was like i didn't respond and then um i don't know we didn't even speak i just went ahead to like wash the dishes and everything but i didn't speak to her because i i that was when it started to like kicking that 
this girl is not like a social person not really social social but like there was just something off about her and that's not even all of so that chapter that dishwashing chapter is over and then moving on to another chapter so there was this one time that um i was on campus i went for an event and then um, i needed something because i usually dance in school so i needed something for my performance and I came back and I decided to run back home and get the stuff. Next thing I knew, this guy pulled a whole trash bag full of dirt in front of my room door. And I was like, what's going on here? Because at that time, we had one trash bag and we usually take turns to take out the trash. And it was not like they scheduled something that would be like, okay, today you take out the trash, tomorrow I take out the trash. No, it was just like, Whoever sees it first and it's full, take out the trash and replace it. As simple as that. So, me seeing a trash bag in front of my room completely confused me. And then, um, I was so upset because I was like, has it gotten to this level? Then, um, what I did was, my initial thought was to take the trash bag and put it in her room. But, I'm not put it in her room, I put it in front of her door. But I was like, it's only gonna like make matters worse and just instigate things. And me, when I'm living in an environment, especially a two bedroom, I like to have my peace and you know, have, be living in good times with the person I'm living with. So, what I did was, I knocked on her room and I was like, hey, can I have a conversation with you? And she was telling me that she's studying or whatever, and I thought that it was important. So she came out and I told her that I first of all I didn't like what she did by putting the trash in front of my room and um I just told her that like if there's a problem between me and you or like if you don't like something that I'm doing or anything that is irritating you, the best bet is for you to like call me on the phone or like knock in my room and be like, Hey Fable, can we have a conversation? Can we talk? That's a lot easier so that through that way we can like understand each other more. And all of a sudden, sis started crying. So I said, I don't like confrontation. I'm like, sis, I'm not confront. I'm not, hmm, I was going to say, I'm not, I am not confronting you. I'm trying to have like a mature conversation with you so that we can move forward and live happily. This baby shouted. She started shedding tears and I'm like, I'm not even yelling. I'm not like shouting at you. I'm not like, you know, raising my voice at you. Then why are you crying and stuff like that? So I told her that it's no big deal. But next time, don't put trash in front of my room because you know you're not going to like the next reaction that I give you. And that's what I told her. And then she was apologizing, saying that she's not going to put trash again, that she just did that of anger. I was like, okay, cool. I re respect the fact that like people do some crazy shit when they're angry. But next time, don't do it. If you have a problem with me, call me and let's talk face to face. And then she said, okay. And um, I think she went ahead to do something in the kitchen. I thought it were cool, I thought everything was fine until, and mind you, whenever my friends come over, she's so upset about it. Whenever I have a friend over, she's so angry about it. Even if we're watching a movie in my room, she will literally say the noise is too loud from her room. And mind you, I don't have a TV in my room, so we basically use my laptop and she will tell me that the noise is too much. And I'm like, what's going on here? Or sometimes I'll be cooking with my friend in the kitchen and she'll be like, we're making so much noise. I'm like, bitch, we're literally cooking, obviously. Like, there's no way cooking, you can cook in a mute, like, there's no way your cooking can be muted because you're cutting this, you're, you're using the grinder, you're using the, like, you're, like, you're using the um, sink, like, noise has to be made for you to cook. I've never seen a situation where, by, like, you're cooking and it's like if nobody like a graveyard like it's highly impossible that i don't have to cook or something is wrong and i was like can you just chill okay i thought that i okay when she said when she texted me i was like me and my roommates were making us she's trying to sleep i was like we're cooking sorry but there's nothing we can do about it but we'll try and be as quiet as possible which we were and then um she just came out from her a few minutes later she came out from my room and just like stormed off and i and my friends were just like And just continue what we're doing because i told them literally way before when they came in that 
whatever they say they should just take it because my roommate is crazy one thing also that she never like i think i leave with that for just one semester and one thing i realized, that, realized about her that not even one person ever came to see this girl like this girl literally when she comes back home she just comes through the door and go into her room and you will not see her till like i don't know the evening or the next day like she didn't have guests she didn't have her fellow friends come over she didn't have any visitors at all and then whenever mine comes over it's like a huge problem to her and i'm like i really don't understand probably you should have gotten a one bedroom if that was the case and i was so so irritated and the thing was that there are times that my friends would try to like put her in our conversation or whatever and she would just give them like nasty attitude like literally my friends stopped coming here because they felt uncomfortable they felt unwelcome because the vibe in the apartment was so negative and so off and i didn't like it there was this one time that it was my birthday and i didn't know my friends were gonna like surprise me it was like 12 a.m in the morning on my birthday and then my friends like i had a huge knock on the door and i was like who the fuck is that i mean who is that and then i opened the door it was my friends and then they came in they were shouting happy birthday to me and i was so happy i was so excited and this chick my so-called roommates came out from my room and just stormed off in the night and she didn't come back till the next day afternoon and that same then that day after like the day she came back i got a call from the office saying that my roommates reported me that i and my friends were making noise last night yada 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 blah 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 making all sorts of like bullshit and i was like and i told the office that yo it was my birthday first of all i didn't know my friends were coming over to surprise me and secondly and secondly i couldn't tell them to shut the fuck i couldn't tell them to shut up because they were singing happy birthday to me like i don't know where that is done and the office were telling me that I should try and solve the, the issue I have with my roommates, things like that. And I was like, and I'm done with this girl. And every little thing that goes on, she reports me to the listening office. If I leave the dishes and go to school, if I leave the dishes and go to school, she reports me to the office. If I leave the lights on by mistake, she reports me to the office. Like, every single thing. And I told the office that, honestly, this is getting on my nerves because if she cannot have is a mature conversation with me being bold enough to tell me the things that are disturbing her that i'm doing then i don't understand how she can live with anyone else and this is not just about me this is me realizing that this girl cannot live with anyone and i was like yo the one that she did that got to me the most was one day i was in the living room with my friends were studying and then um before, way before that i came out to do my laundry and her clothes were in the washer and i transferred her clothes from the washer to the dryer so that i can use the washer and then she came out so that i transferred her clothes and she just said why did i touch her clothes that now that i have touched her clothes the clothes are dirty i'm like honestly i i didn't know what to read out of this but the only thing that came to my mind was that you're mad disrespectful like i took your clothes from the washer put it in the dryer for it to dry for you because it being in the washer will first of all smell because it's been there for hours and what you could do is raise your voice at me saying that i touched your clothes now they are dead like what does that mean and then that was the point i was like i cannot have you disrespect me in front of my friends i was so angry like she was in the kitchen area i was in the living room area i don't know i stood up i was getting close so i was so mad i was so angry and my friends were just like pulling me back i was like oh my god i really just want to beat your ass because you deserve it and then um she was on the phone with her mom her mom was telling her that she should um pack all her books that she has in the living area and put it in her room and i'm like i'm not going to steal your books first of all i'm a business major you're a nursing major there's nothing that you have that i would need and then her mom was giving her sorts of stupid advice and i was because i could hear because she called her mom and was like i can't take it any longer um I, it's too much for me i'm gonna i'm like please get out of this apartment because you're pissing me off right now and doing all sorts of childish shit and then she left the apartment and i was like good get out don't come back i was so angry i was so so angry i had it up to here at that time and then afterwards obviously i'm not surprised she reported me to the listening office again and if you listen office they tried their very best to settle us but she was not willing to settle things with me and me at that point i was done trying to make her be cool with me or make her not being friends but like 
at least respectful roommates to each other i just had it up to here i was like i'm done then i was like if you're gonna keep i was like if you're gonna keep reporting me to the office for little things that we roommates can discuss and make the office think that i am the bad roommate then i'm going to make your stay here the struggle because you're making the stay here the struggle for me so i i would do petty stuff like like if it's like 11 p.m in the night and i know that she hates the slightest noise even an aunt she could hear them walking i would literally put on my speaker and just play the loudest nigerian music and start dancing to it and to piss her off because at that time we were beefing we we're not talking and i'll do some petty shit and then she would come out from my room at night and just leave to god knows where and i was like i don't care and it, it just kept on happening like that to the end of the semester towards the end of the semester yes the, the um apartment called me and was like my roommate is moving out and i'm getting a new one and i was like thank god this is the best news ever so um one day when i went to write my final exam for the um, semester i came back and i saw um she and her father they came into the apartment and started like packing her stuff and we're just there looking and i was like i really really do not do not care and i was acting so angry as she was packing and me and my friend were just there laughing about it and i was like yo this is crazy you know something that have taken me away from this experience and by the way she's american though and i'm nigerian and one thing i would say is that like a huge cultural difference was a contributing factor and not just that um she was just basically someone that could not tolerate other people she could get easily annoyed and things like that mind you this is my third roommate and out of my four roommate, I would say she was literally like the worst because I couldn't get through her. There were times that I would want to like get to know her, strike up conversations, and she would just like kill it instantly. And I was like, I'm, I am done trying, you know, you know. And it was just like too much for me. And like I don't know, she could just complain about every little thing. For me, I would say the best bet is to live with your friend, like your very close friend. So that even if you guys fall out or something, you know that okay, this person is my friend. I know how to talk to her. I know how to excuse me. I know how to talk to her. I know how to settle things with her. Like I know what to make her happy. I know like the things to say that we can end. But this one, living with a total stranger, someone you just met, it's like it's very very hard and very tricky because even if you want to try and make um, peace reign, you don't know the next thing that you say that will make them snap or. We can easily misinterpret each other. Now, I'm not saying that she is the devil because she probably saw me as the bad roommate. I'm. I know I had. I did my own like petty things, like I said. But at the same time, it, we're not just compatible, and that's why I'm saying that it's always good to live with like your really good friend, someone that you can live with, or best bet if you have the money, live alone. Me the main reason why i didn't get a one bedroom is because i don't like staying alone like i like to have like another human being around because the environment like the room is going to be like so boring and like no no human interaction so i hate that that's why like i don't i didn't get the one bedroom and i've also thought about living with my friends like my legit friends but it's always either they didn't like my apartment because like it's too expensive or they're already roommates with somebody else so i have to like keep living with people that I do not know and honestly I don't mind because I don't I love to know people and like you know experience living with different personalities and characters but one thing I won't tolerate is the disrespect and like the another factor I would say is communication because she didn't give me the chance to communicate with her and first of all there was no form of little personal relationship that was established that was a terrible experience and like I thanked the most high when she was leaving. I was like, sis, it was about time. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, do whatever I want to do with this video. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers. Have a lovely day, night, whenever this video goes up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.